promised my Instagram and Facebook followers to make a tutorial on this pickled beetroot. Today is National Pickling Day. I just filmed another uh, video for my Armenian channel how to make pickled um, peppers or marinated peppers. Anyway, so I decided since I'm already on the pickling mood, go ahead and um, film this one tutorial as well. And this is pretty simple um, appetizer to make. What we need? Fresh beetroot. And preferably, I would suggest to get a small or at least medium sized ones and make sure you have the, the stems as well. Um, that's important and then garlic of course anytime you pickle something garlic is a must of course you will use other pickling must ingredients for pickling I have bay leaves and I finally got containers for my spices um, and then I have all spice black pepper ground black pepper of course we'll use salt and usually for pickling i would suggest to use either kosher salt sea salt or um, pickling salt and pickling salt is the only difference is uh, it melts faster but we can melt faster if we use hot water so um, i have regular filtered cold water when the time comes, I'll melt the salt in hot water. So we're gonna start by cooking our beetroot. And we need a pot. Pot and cold water. Simply cut the tips, the roots, and then the stems. We're gonna cook the stems a little bit later because these cook faster than the actual beetroot. So we'll start by, let me just organize. I started, um, in a hurry so I didn't manage to organize everything okay so I'm gonna start by cutting the roots and then we'll cook the beets until they're tender and you simply uh, stick the knife or a fork into uh, the vegetable see if it goes in tender smoothly it means it's cooked so I'll go ahead quickly cut the roots cook the beets could be I don't know, depending on the size and freshness, um, it may cook 40 minutes to an hour or so. So I'll go ahead, finish this and we'll go from there. While the beetroot is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and organize, arrange our stems. And these are the most delicious part of the pickling beetroot. And what you do, you simply remove the leaves. If the leaves are fresh and these are not uh, very fresh because I got this two days ago. So if the leaves are fresh, simply blanch them in water two, three minutes and then add some olive oil, garlic and serve it with yogurt. So I'm, I'm not gonna be able to serve my beetroot leaves um, because they're not very fresh as I said <laughs> okay so you're gonna remove the leaves and then probably this stems to uh, this this part from uh, the beetroot itself just like that sometimes it's hard to throw away a good stuff look like this I, I'm gonna save this and I don't suggest cooking the leaves with stems because later they become kind of um, soggy. Uh, I think that's the right word. And it, it's not very pleasant to eat with pickled veggies. Okay, unless you like eating soggy things. <laughs> okay, so I'm almost done. We're gonna nicely, I'm gonna save these ones too. And I'll show you what, what we do next. And I would suggest to wash the stems very thoroughly. Sometimes they have uh, too much dirt in there. So you want to make sure you remove all the dirt. And 
As far as I remember, my grandma would make these stems look so perfect, so even. I don't know how she would do that, but she would always have these stems nicely arranged and tied with a thread. So I don't know if I can manage do as neatly as her, but this is how I do it. Just organize them as, as even as you can. And depends how big of stacks you want to make them. Doesn't really matter. You, you don't even have to do this step. But um, this way, we always, as Armenians, we always like keeping things nice and organized and neat on our table, in, in the plate. So I would suggest, if you have time, just um, arrange these stems nicely and tie them with a thread just like this and this way you will also um, have uh, no difficulties removing them from water when they cook. <laughs> I'm trying to find a good excuse for you to do this uh, extra step. So I'll go ahead finish tying my stems, beetroot stems, not my stems. <laughs> and this, this cook pretty fast, about 3-4 minutes, that's why I'm I'm not cooking this with beetroot. I may have already said that. <laughs> I forget, my mind is not working very well. <laughs> my memory is not working very well. Okay, so this may be a little time taking, so I'll go ahead and finish this without you guys watching and we'll go from there. The beetroots had, have been cooking about 35-40 minutes almost. So once in a while I've been checking and see to see if it's cooked fully. Look, now it goes in pretty smoothly. You can use a fork as well. So at this point I'm not gonna take this out. I'll drop in my stacks of stems and cook another 3-4 minutes and this should be done. And by the time these are cooking, I'll go ahead and um, arrange my other ingredients and a pot or a container for pickling this. Okay, a few more minutes and it's done. And I'll let this cook. So, I have a glass container. You can simply get a glass jar or a large mason jar, anything you want, or even a plastic container. I have my salt, my um, filtered water. So you want to, oh, I forgot to clean the garlic. By the way, sometimes when I'm lazy, what I do, I simply, and I, I'm not suggesting, I'm just giving you uh, some lazy, <laughs> lazy people tips. What I do, because I don't enjoy eating garlic, like pickled garlic, if you like eating garlic, pickled garlic, I wouldn't suggest to go this way. I don't even peel it. I simply cut it like this. And the stem is bothering. Just like that. And putting in my jar. So, uh, this was my lazy person's tips. Okay, so I'll do it this time. Okay, and then a little bit of those black pepper seeds. Mm. Three, four, five old spice seeds, and you know what I forgot? I forgot to buy fresh dill. You can either use fresh dill or dill seeds. I have dill seeds. I need to go and look for them in my pantry. Um, my pantry is so unorganized. I may not. I may even find a person in. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, so that's that. What else? Yeah, I would if I had fresh dill, I would have used it. And a little bit parsley, fresh parsley. Just like this. And, and the same layer will go on the top of beetroot when they're cooked. I think that's it. And to make the marinade, I boiled some water. Or not the marinade, the brine probably hot water over our salt or, or if you're using pickling salt uh, simply use it like that because it's gonna melt very easily very quickly 
Okay, you know what? I'll add a little bit sugar. Just a little bit. I always do it with my um, brine. Okay, probably a tablespoon. I have about eight cups of water. I have uh, seven cups and I have one cup here. So one cup boiling water just to melt. And I'm so messy today. <laughs> okay, so I'll melt the salt. You want to make sure it's properly melted. Okay, and while this is melting, I'll remove my beetroots. And set aside to cool down because it will have to peel the, uh, the large beetroot. So we can't peel it while it's very hot. If the salt is too stubborn to melt, I would suggest to go ahead and boil it. So I'll give this some time because I still need to cut the beetroot so I have time. If it doesn't melt, I'll boil it. And I would suggest to wear some gloves when you start working with beetroot. And you will simply remove this part and see it cuts through so perfectly. And even without a knife, you should be able to remove the skin just like this. And you don't even want to use a knife. Okay, so I'll go ahead, finish peeling, or you know what, let me show you how do we do this after we peel. Okay, after peeling, you're going to slice it into thin or thick circles or slices, just the way you like it. If you like it more crunchy, crispy, go with thicker slices, just like this, just like this. I want you just to see the thickness. Okay, so I'll arrange this in my glass container and go ahead, continue and finish peeling and slicing. And we should be done pretty soon. Done slicing the last beetroot and see my salt didn't melt. I'm gonna go ahead and start boiling it until it melts. And okay, so I'll put this here, stir and melt the salt properly. And I'll remove the stems. I didn't cook the stems too long. I just turn off the heat and let them stay in hot water and usually we put these stems the last and by the time it, it would manage to pickle they all would be gone <laughs> they taste so so delicious just like this and one more thing you don't have to do that but I like my pickled veggies spicy so I want to add one sliced spicy pepper jalapeno or any pe any kind of pepper you you have on hand. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Today is my messy lazy day. Okay, I'll get the pepper. And I found the knife. I'll simply slice it like this and place it somewhere. Okay, so I'll wait for the salt to melt and I have more garlic. See, I'm not very lazy after all. I peeled two of them. <laughs> okay, and let me put a little bit more herbs, some more black pepper seeds, and then allspice and bay leaves. Okay, so I'll go look after my salt and we're almost done. This was probably the most stubborn kosher salt I've ever used. See, this is the best part of using pickling salt. It melts even with in cold water immediately. Okay, so this is almost melted <laughs> and we're gonna pour this 
brine over our vegetable just like this cover it till the end and a little bit more and then I'll go grab a plate we want to put a plate place a plate over the vegetables to kind of sit them properly and stack them Okay, and choose a heavy plate. Okay, so this is good and I'll cover it with the lid from another container because I can't find the lid from this one. And you want to set this in room temperature, at room temperature, about six to seven days or until it's pickled properly. Just taste it and see if you like how it tastes. Place it into fridge. That's it and we're done. So I'll put down quick measurements directions on my blog at Helene.com. Unfortunately, I don't have any ready to show you and to taste. I wish I could. Um, yeah, that's it. So recipe will be on my blog at Helene.com. Check it out. Subscribe to my channel. Like the video if you liked it. And I'll see you soon. And I got a text.